if you want to improve matters, the people who are going to do it are the managers on the ground. So what I've concentrated on is understanding what management is necessary to improve things and also learn from the leading conservation ranchers, the guys who got uh, awards, on how they do it and how well with different management they're able to improve matters. And fortunately we've got many really good uh, ranchers in the state so they've provided me a very good platform. And because they manage landscapes, my studies are at a landscape level and they're not at the small plot level. And that means the research I do has to be completely different. If you look at successful managers, whether it's in farming or in business, the leading people exceed the average by a margin. And they do that by the way they allocate resources, the way they use uh, different techniques and novel things, and the way they adapt as things change. So that's all part of what we're trying to learn in our research. In order to do that, I have, through the NRCS, located leading guys um, in similar vegetation, and it just happened that they're all east of uh, Wichita Falls, because there are many uh, good managers in that area. And what I've done is, because you can't replicate a landscape, each landscape is unique and the management of it is a little bit different. I've taken three contiguous counties where they've got the award-winning um, uh, management plus traditional stocking at low stocking rate or at high stocking rate. So three treatments in each of three contiguous counties and, and although we've analyzed it um, like we would a, a, a small replicated study, they're not really replicates and what we're looking for is the same response between treatments in each one of the counties. The other thing about management too is good managers are dealing with complexity and they make key changes of the way they, they organize their resources and they make adaptive changes as things change. So what we've got is we've got that model that's working well biologically and I've, I've developed a series of algorithms denote five different levels of intensity of management from the low stocking rate with no changes the next one up would be stocking according to the, the grass that's available at the beginning of the season and then checking to see you're not going to run out of grass if you're going to run out of grass during the season then you get rid of animals that is what we're doing the next step would be to bring in the aerial um, monitoring of the whole landscape and because the landscape data has been around for 20 odd years, we can actually do retrospective searches. One of the key things when you work in an environment like this to understand a thing like management is that you can't just do it a couple of years. You need to go through at least two wet and two dry cycles before you're beginning to uh, understand the, um, what that management really entails. And three of each would actually be better. So by looking at that ret retrospectively and combining that with a simulation modeling, um, I think we, at different levels, we're covering those entities. And as long as you, your models are checking out against the producers that you're working with, then you're in the ballpark.